Hey, this is Nat, and we're off our couch in the ancient city, St. Augustine, Florida, which is about 40 miles south of Jacksonville and approximately 50 miles north of Daytona Beach. And we are here for a second round of museum tours. We'd like to thank Florida's Historic Coast for their assistance with this video. And this is a series where we visit the different museums here in St. Augustine. So if you love St. Augustine and enjoy museums, so do we. So subscribe, please be on the lookout for part three plus more content from St. Augustine and other exciting destinations. Being that St. Augustine was founded in 1565, a lot has happened in this city. There are lots of stories to tell and many museums are here serving as one of the many sources in this rich historical city to tell those stories. Not every museum here in St. Augustine is based on history as we saw in our last museum tour in St. Augustine uh, when we encountered the oddities of the very first, the original Ripley's believe it or not. So there is a variety here as you may already know if you joined us off the couch already for that first museum tour. And if you toured the museums along with us that first time, thank you so much. And you may recognize from that first tour, uh, we'll talk discounts along the way as we explore these museums. So if this is your first time joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. Our goal is to make your adventures easier and more fun. So any time or money saving tips that we're aware of, we will pass along just like we did on that first tour. We also do that with our monthly newsletter, pass along travel tips and travel inspiration. So sign up for our newsletter, please, on our website, offourcouch.com. The sign-up link is also in the description box. Let's go ahead and get the second museum tour underway. These five museums we're visiting this time around are all historical in nature and contain history pertaining to St. Augustine, especially our first stop, the St. Augustine History Museum. The St. Augustine History Museum is located in Old Town, along with the Spice and Tea Exchange, Gator Bob's Trading Post, Old Town Trolley Tours, the Old Jail, and the Otis Store Museum. The St. Augustine History Museum is actually located within Gator Bob's Trading Post, and admission to this museum is free when you purchase an Old Town Trolley Tour ticket. You can also purchase tickets just to this museum. Um, purchasing tickets online provides a small discount, and this museum will allow you to travel through more than 400 years of St. Augustine history. The museum displays periods of St. Augustine and Florida under both Spanish and British rule and emphasizes the importance and massive contributions that Henry Flagler, businessman and founder of the Florida East Coast Railway, made to St. Augustine as well as the entire state of Florida. The train representing Flagler's Florida East Coast Railway in this museum is engaging and fun to watch for both kids and adults. Also, some of the exhibits directly refer to the other attractions located here in Old Town, like the Old Jail and the Oldest Store Museum, our next stop on our museum tour. Now, we've had the chance to visit both the St. Augustine History Museum and the Oldest Store Museum when we explored Old Town, and that video link will be in the description box if you'd like to check out the entire of Old Town and I love this museum and I love the approach to history this museum takes. The contents of this store um, were once owned by Charles Hamblin. Initially Hamblin was in business to supply Henry Flagler with goods for his construction projects and hotels like the Ponce de Leon Hotel which is now Flagler College. During the first part of your visit, sales clerks from that time period demonstrate the latest time-saving products from the 19th and early 20th century while rattling off persuasive sales pitches in the most engaging and entertaining way possible. You learn a lot about history in that time period. Just seeing these technological advances designed to save valuable time um, during the early 20th century. And then for the second part of the tour, um, you're on your own to explore more innovative products for that time period. If you're planning to visit multiple attractions in Old Town or even other attractions elsewhere in St. Augustine, be sure to check for bundled package deals available through Old Town Trolley Tours. Tickets can be purchased online also for a slight discount and in the description box below I'll include the link to Old Town Trolley Tours site for those discounts and package bundle rates. Also keep in mind that when you visit Old Town, parking at Old Town is free. 
Let's leave Old Town for another stop on our museum tour, our third stop, and let's head into the old drugstore, which is now Potter's Wax Museum, home to over 160 wax figures, which range from kings and queens to celebrities to pirates. Although there is a range of history on display, uh, well, more like brought to life here at Potter's Wax Museum, uh, there is history that is specific to St. Augustine. Martin Luther King Jr. actually visited St. Augustine in 1964 in an attempt to end racial discrimination and segregation. And if you know anything about St. Augustine history, then you're familiar with Juan Ponce de Leon, the Spanish explorer who claimed Florida for Spain, and Pedro Menendez de Avales who founded St. Augustine. And this is new where you can actually try on their hats. Uh, we have been to Potter's before, uh, and that video link is in the description box if you'd like to check out that experience. I will tell you that some of the museum is the same but a lot is different um it's really cool that you can try these hats on now great photo opportunities now check this out um this is the summer spanish explorer look and from the winter collection the ultra warm spanish explorer headpiece <laughs> The winter headpiece is really heavy. Great for deflecting the elements, but I prefer the summer look. <laughs> the museum is already engaging with the trivia pieces that are all around the museum. Having the hats to try on is a fun addition. Other additions here are former presidents Donald Trump and Barack Obama. Uh, last time we were at Potter's, we saw just the head of Barack Obama, um, but here he is now, complete and in the wax. <laughs> These are not the only changes, so if you haven't been recently, I definitely recommend checking it out again. And if you've never visited, um, definitely make it a point to see this impressive collection during your stay in St. Augustine. Uh, if you're a wax museum fan like I am, I think you'll definitely enjoy the museum. Plus, you can tell people that you visited the oldest wax museum in the United States. Another addition that I think is really, really cool, Pocahontas is back. Um, it's hard to get a good picture because of the glare, but the original collector, George Potter, had over 200 wax figures, and when he passed, the family sold off a lot of the collection. Pocahontas is now back though, originally made in the 1940s. This figure is again part of the Potter's Wax Museum collection. To discuss some savings, um, Potter's Wax Museum tickets can be purchased online at a slight discounted rate and can also be purchased within Old Town Trolley Tour bundled packages. Now our next museum stop, stop number four, is the Governor's House Cultural Center and Museum and it is free. Right across from the Plaza de la Constitución, this building used to serve as the administrative headquarters and home for colonial governors appointed by Spain, Britain, and then Spain again. Parts of the governor's house, coquina walls, and windows are believed to date back to St. Augustine's first Spanish colonial period, which was from 1565 to 1764. Within the lobby is a timeline of the role of the governor's house from 1586 till present day. The governor's house also hosts rotating exhibits like the one currently here at the governor's house and cultural museum, Painting St. Augustine. A quick side note, this museum is just one of the many free things to do here in St. Augustine. And we have videos highlighting many of the free activities here in this city, which I will include in the description box. Now we will leave the historic downtown district um, via the Bridge Alliance to travel to the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Maritime Museum for our fifth museum stop and our final stop on this tour. I think there's so much emphasis on the lighthouse, uh, rightfully so. It's an, um, I'll say emotional, 219 step journey. Emotional because I've seen people excited to uh, walk the steps of the lighthouse and I've seen people terrified, uh, but still doing it, still making that 165 foot ascent to the top of the lighthouse to take in these unbelievable views. Anyways, back to my original point, uh, there's often so much excitement and awe over the lighthouse. The fact that this is also a museum is sometimes overlooked. At the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Maritime Museum, you can see lighthouse keepers tools, view artifacts from a 1782 British Loyalist shipwreck found here in St. Augustine, along with other shipwreck artifacts, explore a variety of model ships, and discover St. Augustine's role in World War II. 
As far as discounts are concerned, on the St. Augustine Lighthouse website, there is a coupon code to receive discounted admission when tickets are purchased online in advance. There's also a discount code that can be printed towards general admission to be used at the lighthouse. Discounts for veterans, local first responders, and students are available when tickets are also purchased at the lighthouse. The St. Augustine Lighthouse and Maritime Museum also offers memberships, and not really a discount, but something that affects the price, and you may need to know individuals have to be at least 44 inches tall to climb to the top of the lighthouse uh, children under 44 inches tall do get in free and one adult with them is half off also parking is free at the lighthouse in the museum and if you'd love to see more of this historic property and all that can be explored for guests of all ages because there is a playground nature trails a puppet theater and other fun activities um, even for smaller children who may not be able to climb to the top of the lighthouse or other individuals who may not be able to climb to the top of the lighthouse or may not desire to there's lots to do here for all at the st augustine lighthouse and maritime museum and we do have a video um, showing a lot more activities and our full experience here and that video link will be in the description box and with that we have completed another museum tour here in the ancient city if you like this video or found it helpful please hit the thumbs up button there are still more museums to go and we'd love to hear your favorites we'd love to know if we covered any of your favorites or any museums that you'd like to visit here in St. Augustine tell us in the comments below please and we have had has such a wonderful time touring the museums here in St. Augustine with all of you. We would love for you all to join us off the couch for another round of touring. Uh, we'll still be here in St. Augustine, Florida, and this time we're touring the city of St. Augustine by foot, on the water and by train and trolley we'll be talking about some of the many different ways that you can explore the oldest city in america and all of the various points of history architecture and sites of the city that can be noticed and more thoroughly appreciated with the help of a tour guide that's all coming to you this upcoming saturday a new adventure happens every saturday and if you yet to subscribe subscribe please so you don't miss any upcoming adventures keep getting off the couch with us sign up for our monthly newsletter as well to have travel tips and travel inspiration delivered right to your inbox. Sign up on our website at allfirecouch.com. The sign up link is also in the description box below. As always, thanks so much for joining us for this second round of museum tours. Thank you all for getting off the couch with us here in St. Augustine, Florida. And thanks for making all of this possible. Thank you for all the likes, comments, shares, and feedback. All of your support and all of your interaction make these adventures happen. So thank you so much. Until next week, click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.